Welcome. Welcome to Tuesdays with Suzanne. And today's topic is going to be building on the last two weeks. We did, two weeks ago, we did a, um, a piece about how to work with when it feels like there's a lot of smoke and fog around you. The smoke of war, I think we called it. The fog of war. Last week, we spoke about when the smoke starts to clear. When the fog clears, being able to see your path forward in a new way. And this time, today, we're going to speak about what happens. What happens when you're on your path, the smoke has cleared, you've seen clearly where you need to go, and you want to begin to step by step manifest whatever is yours to do. Okay? So, if you would... Rest back, get your tush on the chair, your bottoms of your feet, soles of your feet on the floor. Taking a deep breath or a yawn. Letting your eyes close. Allow yourself to drop inside. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest, your belly, feeling your sitting bones right on down, 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 into feeling the soles of your feet on the floor. Yeah. Hmm. And as you sink in and slow down, allow your awareness to drop deep into your bones. Deep into your bones. Allow yourself to breathe into your bones. We all know that our bones have air spaces. They're honeycombed, or we would all weigh 800 pounds. So imagine, if you will, that you can breathe into your bones so that with each inhale, you're filling deeper and deeper within. And on each exhale, you're letting go of what you no longer need. So first filling into the bones of your chest, of your sternum, your ribs, your whole spinal column. Deep into the bones of your shoulders, down your arms, into your hands and fingers. Breathing right on into the bones of your sinuses, your whole cranium and your neck. Breathing into the bones of your pelvis, your belly, down your legs, into the bones of your feet. Good. Good. And resting back in your bones, feeling the steadiness, the quietness, and the clarity that this area brings when you know how to rest back in your bones. It is as though you're entering your own inner sanctum, your inner temple. Good. Good. And as you rest back into your bones, notice, notice. When you think about what inspires you most in your life, 
what is yours to do. And if we're building on what we've worked on for the last couple weeks, you may have had challenges that were like smoke screens, emotional muddiness. You may have had a sense of things being pushed around, confused, disorganized. And we talked last week about sitting with everything until the smoke clears, until the water, the mud has settled and the water is clear, so that you can see what is yours to do. And today, as we sit in our bones, see the path in front of you. Yeah. See the path in front of you. See the direction that's yours to go in with your gifts, whatever they are. And then call that path to you. Let it widen out in front of you and call it in, in this present moment. So whatever is yours to do, you can see it, Smell it, taste it, feel it, hear it. (laughs) It may even arrive in front of you. As you call it in, it may arrive as a future form of you. Maybe a year from today. Ten years from today, fifty years from today, call it in so you can see it. You can give this version of you a big hug. Thank it for showing up. Offer it a cup of tea or coffee. Allow yourself, allow yourself to connect with this part of you. This is your path. This is who you are at a soul level. Let it connect deeply into who you are today, guiding you, guiding you. As you take this trip that we call life, all the messiness, let it be your navigator, this best part of who you are. Wonderful. And notice, notice what it feels like as you step into your future. As the future comes to you. As you walk your path. In each moment, listening to the guidance of who you are at a soul level. changing, shifting. You fall down, you pick yourself up. You make a mistake, you correct it, own it, keep on going. You accidentally hurt somebody, stop, say you're sorry, and then keep on going. Yeah. Do what you need to do to walk your soul's path in the world. The world needs you right now.
to be fully who you are at a soul level. And breathing into your bones, into your inner sanctum, give yourself the space and time. Give yourself the space and time to reconnect with this part of you again and again across the course of your, your journey, your path. And stay as long as you want here in your inner temple, in your inner sanctum, talking with, communing with who you are at a soul level. Take all the time you need. Take all the time you need. And come back here frequently. And enjoy. Enjoy.